some more tea? Holly. Tea. P pardon? Would you like some more tea? Yes, please. Thank you. How's your work going at the university? What? Professor Gerald? Oh, that. Yeah, well, it's... It's proceeding on schedule. The security system is more or less installed. Well, he must be relieved. Actually, the old guy kind of resents it. He doesn't want to be protected? Well, he just doesn't want to know about it. You see, Gerald believes in the family of man, the brotherhood of scientists, international trust and goodwill, not cheating on your taxes, all those things that have nothing whatsoever to do with reality. A relic? Yeah, it's his ivory tower. Not anymore. No, someone's trying to bust in and steal the keys to the vault. And shatter an old man's illusions in the process. Well, if life were fair and everybody got along well with one another, people like me would be out of a job. Well, you don't have a thing to worry about. Life is certainly not like that. How would you like it to be? I mean, if right this very minute, you could have whatever you want. What would you want? I don't know. Look, we can't go on tap dancing around the question here. I mean, it's not going to go away on its own. I know. Holly, how much longer are we going to pretend that nothing has changed? Well, hi, Connie. What's up? Is something wrong? I have to see you. Now? As soon as possible. Well, um... Look, I've got information from the WSB. It's urgent. Urgent business, eh? Yeah. Uh, can't you hear me? Do we have a bad connection? No. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Look, uh, we have got to talk. Well, would you, um like to come by here? I think that'd be best. When's it convenient? Well, early afternoon? I'll be there. Good, I'll be waiting. Uh, that was Connie. Yes, I heard. Uh, something urgent's come up. She needs to see me. Well, I'd better get going. Oh, well, she won't be here till, uh, early afternoon. Well, I have a lot to do, and I'd just as soon not be here when she arrives. Holly... I don't mean it like that. I really do have a busy day. You know how I feel. About what? About what I want. Uh, I better get drunk. Look, you're not upset, are you, by Connie dropping by? Of course not. Good. She doesn't I'll, matter. Uh, I'll pop into the communications room on my way out. Look, love. She doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the decision you have to make. And soon. Well, I'm off. You look very nice. Thank you. Running a few errands? I have a few people to see. Uh -huh. Luke isn't one of them. Well, you're free to see him if you want. You don't have to worry about that. Not interested? He wouldn't let me. I mean, you would tell me, though, um, if you were, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, uh, who are you going to see? It's what they call an interrogation commissioner. No. It's called concern. This husband for this wife. I want to talk to Bobby. I know she's upset and there are some things we have to clear up. Like maybe getting a message through to Luke? I didn't mean that. No, but you'd like to. Look, maybe Ruby can do it for you. You want me to make up my mind, don't you? More than anything. 
I hope that talking to Bobby and Ruby will help me. It's your decision. And I'm going about it in the only way I know. I'll see you later. There's one thing I want you to take with you. What's that? Whatever you do, wherever you go, I love you. You are still married, aren't you? I'd love to say hello. Well, her name is Holly, if you've forgotten, and she's out. Ooh, something I said? Forget it. Whatever it is, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's not you. Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Look, did I come at a bad time? If it's not a bad business, you did. Well, it is, and it's very important. Good. What's the news? Let's get to it. Well, it's time to play ball. The W was B are finally going to do something. Well, their hand was forced. Gerald. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Now, our man behind the Iron Curtain alerted us. An enemy intelligence agent has been dispatched to their embassy in Washington. For what purpose? Special mission. Oh. Top priority. Big leaguer. You bet it. All right. Any idea who he or she probably is? Well, that much we know. Now, he's already in Washington. <laughs> what capacity? Well, pick one got the entire embassy staff to choose from. That's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, uh, he could be anyone there. I mean, second secretary... Military attaché. Commercial attaché on down. Now, our people in Washington are trying to narrow it down right now. This could take time. We don't have it. Well, but what's the mission? What are they, he, she, or whatever doing in the country? That, we found out. Which is why you're here. That's right. Ball's in your court now, Robert. I just hope you know what to do with it. What are they after? The agent's mission is to activate the mole here in Fort Charles. Yours. Stop them. Thank you. Hi, Holly. Hi. Could we talk? Okay. Privately. I'm sorry, I can't leave the desk right now. Sure you can. Uh, I'll hold down the fort while you're gone. This won't take long. Holly, I really don't see where we have anything to say to one another. Bobby, please don't shut me out. At least you can hear my side of it. Okay, let's, um, let's go over into the lounge. You sure you don't mind? Not at all. Take your time. I owe you one. Got this man. I know how you feel. You couldn't possibly. And I don't blame you either. I don't care what you think. Please don't make this any harder than it already is. Holly, you're the one who wanted to talk. Do you think I acted in bad faith? Why do you care what I think? Because you're my friend. I need to know that you understand. I will never understand loving Luke and sleeping with his best friend. Put, your, put yourself in my place. What would you do if you were convinced that your lover was dead? Something else. I don't think so. Don't you think that you would mourn for a time, for a long time, and then you would eventually try and pick up the pieces and put your life back together? Holly, I couldn't do that. I could never do what you did. To Luke? He was dead. No. You thought so yourself. So did everybody. The point is, Holly, he is not dead. He is very much alive, and you have broken his heart. Well, what about my heart? Right now, I am worried about my brother. His entire life is falling apart, and like it or not, lady, you are responsible for that. What I would like to know is what you are going to do about it. Do you have an answer? Not yet. Why not? Because I'm torn. I'm, I'm torn between two loyalties. No. Between two lovers.
for the next one.